Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Austin, and as some of you have pointed out, I used to make videos and put them on the internet. But I haven't done that in a while, and hopefully today I can explain why. Uh, so first things first, you'll probably realize that I'm not talking over gameplay, reason being is I just have none left. Like, it genuinely does not exist on my hard drive. Uh, I realized a couple years ago I transferred them to a 2 terabyte uh, hard drive that I had sitting around, and I actually loaned that to a friend of mine who wanted to watch Game of Thrones, and she hasn't given it back to me. So... Yeah, that stuff's all gone. All my clips, all my videos and stuff like that that I had are more or less just kind of fucking off in the ether somewhere. She might still have it, she might not, but I'm not too worried about it. She's still watching Game of Thrones apparently or something, so whatever. Uh, anyways, what have I been up to? Uh, not much. I Let's see, first things first. I don't play Call of Duty anymore. I think I talked about that in my last video, but I honestly haven't rewatched it. I haven't played a Call of Duty game since, I don't know, it's been like three or four years. I just don't buy them anymore. Uh, I pretty much primarily play on PC at this point, and they are all hot garbage on PC. The reason is, they typically run super poorly, they don't have a good community, so the community dies like almost instantly. There's a mosquito on my monitor. And there's no mod support, and everything about the game just feels super, like, pub starry, and there's no real way to play it competitively, and as you guys know, I'm really big on playing games competitively, so none of those things appeal to me, so I don't play Call of Duty anymore. Uh, so what do I play? I play League of Legends, I play Counter-Strike, Overwatch, I play Dota, and I play a little bit of Rocket League too. I sunk, like, 250-ish hours into it right at the beginning when it came out, and I haven't really touched it as much since, just because I kind of got busy, but I'm still, like, okay at it. I don't know. Thinking about getting it for my Switch. Bought a Switch. It's super cool, although there aren't really a lot of great games for it. I've pretty much almost 100% in Breath of the Wild, but I don't know. That's pretty much it. Um, I have Odyssey. It's okay. The actual, the game that I've enjoyed the most playing on it so far is actually called Wizard of Legends. So it's like a roguelike with like, you're a wizard. You have to make it through these chaos trials, and you have all this crazy-ass magic and stuff like that, and every time you die, you restart, but you have a little more money to spend, and you can change, like, you get, like, upgrades, and, like, say, you go to the market, and there's, like, a new spell. Um, so it's always kind of different. It's super, super challenging. Like, it is a very, very difficult game, which I like, because I like games that are challenging and feel rewarding when you beat them. So, yeah, this game is right up my alley. Um, beyond that, uh, I did build another computer. I think in my last video, if I remember right, I talked about how I sold my computer. And yeah, the one I built is just kind of made out of like vampire parts I had sitting around. So I had a uh, mini ITX motherboard already. Uh, I had a CPU that I found on Hardware Swap, which is a subreddit on Reddit where people like sell their old used like computer parts and stuff like that for super cheap. So I found a CPU on there and an old graphics card too from a client that I built a computer for who did not want it anymore. So yeah, um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, I have a couple monitors and stuff like that. My setup's not super special anymore. My old computer was like two grandish, and I had all these crazy ass monitors, but I realized now that I don't really need that because all I play is League. Um, so if you're wondering what I still play, I still play League. I play League a lot. I'm probably going to play a little bit after this, but that's, that's just about it. I don't really play games that much anymore. So what do I do instead? Uh, I got really big into working out, like, fitness and stuff like that, which has been kind of cool. Uh, I gained, let's see, so I think my last video, I don't, obviously I didn't weigh myself, but if I had to guess, it was probably around 120 pounds. Uh, I had no muscle mass, and now I am, for the most part, like, all muscle. I think I'm hovering around, like, 12% body fat-ish, and I'm about 145 pounds. Um, I'm not going to go into, like, my numbers for lifting, because that always comes off as super douchey, but I've gotten, like, significantly stronger. And I look better, and I feel better, and I'm just overall, like, a lot healthier. Like, I was never, like... See, this is one of those weird things, because people talk about, like, the inability to gain weight, and they're like, oh, must be, that's a great problem to have, but, like, it's it was super fucking frustrating for me to try to gain weight. So, actually being able to sit down and, like, gain weight and gain 25 pounds-ish over the course of the last few years and gain this much, like, muscle, it's been super cool, but... Um, yeah, so I'm really big into working out and stuff like that now. Um, I'm planning on ki either doing like a bodybuilding or powerlifting event at some point, just like locally around here in Oshkosh, but uh, that kind of I would have to work a lot harder at because while I'm in super good shape right now, I'm not as strong as I could be and my body fat could be a lot lower, but that would take a lot of commitment for me and I pretty much have to like stop drinking and doing all the fun stuff that I do. <clears throat> um, 
let's see here. So when I look, I think the last time I talked about my video, I was right about to leave. I was trying to figure out what I was going to do for the summer. So I actually, what I did was my roommate had an interview that he found online to work at a summer camp in Pennsylvania. He did the interview and everything. And once he like finished and they said, yeah, come on. He asked me if I'd want to go with him, to which I said, hell yeah. But then he got an interview for a different place that was local. And by the time I'd already said yes and booked my plane ticket, he had decided he wasn't going to go. So I jetted off to Pennsylvania all by myself and worked at a summer camp for, I believe it was eight weeks, but the kids are only there for seven weeks, um, which was honestly awesome. So I was kind of like, I'm going to use the word introverted, but really I just didn't have any social skills before I went there. And being there and being exposed to a bunch of new people from all parts of the world, uh, we had people from like Israel, Venezuela, the UK, Australia, New Zealand. There's someone from like South Africa, which is super cool. And yeah, getting to know all those people, all the other counselors and getting to like be in charge of a bunch of kids was super good for me. And I actually met this girl, Erica, who I dated for about six months. Uh, we had a good time there. She was one of the other counselors too. Um, fortunately, it didn't work out, but like it was probably for the best. She lives in Indiana. I live in Wisconsin, so probably not the best idea. Um, but yeah, she's in grad school. I'm kind of chilling. Uh, right now I'm going to school at University of Wisconsin Oshkosh and I'm an information systems major. Uh, so what is that? It's basically like computer science, but more of like a business focused or more like real world hands-on stuff. Uh, like computer science is a lot more programming and like theory. And I like to think of information systems as more of the application. Um, beyond that, I work for the IT department here as a student worker. I work for classroom support. So basically if a professor is having an issue in a classroom, I go and fix it. And I also help like clean projectors and do like general maintenance around the schools depending on what they need um, and I also work for the help desk which is kind of like a call center but basically what we do is we answer the phone we help people or we make tickets for the people who do um, and I really like it I don't think if I had gone if I had not gone to camp I would have taken the step out of my comfort zone to actually work for the IT department because it was kind of scary at first and there's a lot to learn I think now I pretty much have all of it down I know I'm not going to say I know everything, but I know a lot of like what goes on infrastructure-wise here at our campus. And yeah, it's been a really big growing experience. All the people who work for the IT department are super cool. They're very inviting and they're very willing to help like work with you and help you grow as a person. Because for the most part, a lot of them were students who went here already. And they recognize like the potential in a lot of the people who go here, which is cool. I really like my bosses. I really like the department. And yeah, uh, other than that, so when I got back from camp I decided that I needed a job because you know money's interesting and if I wanted to visit my girlfriend in Indiana I was gonna need a lot of fucking money so I started working at a grocery store here in Oshkosh and after a few months became a supervisor and I've been there I want to say almost 18 months now uh, it's all right it's definitely the least favorite part of like of my three jobs it's probably my least favorite um, that being said I do make a lot more money there so it's kind of a trade-off I have to consider um, but it's all right. I'm one of the friend supervisors. I basically tell people to go on break. I help people with problems and occasionally argue with customers, which some people don't like, but uh, just kind of part of the job. Um, let's see what else. I'm kind of still considering going back to camp this summer. I did not go last summer. Uh, reason being is it just didn't really fit into my schedule and it's kind of a big commitment to just disappear for seven, eight-ish weeks. You kind of lose touch with a lot of people. Granted, most of my friends have graduated. I'm 23. I'm going to be 24 this summer, but like most of them have graduated, so I wouldn't be losing too much this year. But still, you, you definitely miss out on a lot of like what makes the campus feel like home if you leave for the summer. So, yeah. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is just working 70 hours a week here, or like 40 at the IT department and then 30 at the grocery store that I work at. Um, hopefully... That means I'll make enough money that when next semester comes, I won't have to bust my ass as much because I did work a ton this semester and because of that, my grades really suffered in a couple classes. So in my information systems classes, I I think I ended my essentials class with a 98 or a 99%. I was, I think, one of the most like talkative students and I, I really took a lot. I took uh, kind of a leadership role in the class, I think. I might have just been like a super obnoxious asshole, but... You never really know. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I will actually qualify for financial aid for the first time because I'll be 24, um, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so hopefully I won't have to 
bust my ass there either. Um, let's see what else. Um, kind of rekindling. So last year I was dating a, a girl named. Actually, I'm not going to drop her name because that's not going to go over well. But basically, she was the supplemental instructor for a class that I was in, and we dated for about eight months, and then we broke up pretty recently, and now we're kind of trying to rekindle things. So that's cool. Hopefully that doesn't crash and burn, but you never really know. Um, other than that, I'm kind of just chilling. Um, I don't really have any games I'm looking forward to. I don't play games as much as I used to. I basically... The time I have that's free, so like for example tomorrow I work from 8 to 2 and then after that I work from 4 to midnight at my other job. Uh, basically all my time is going to be spent between 2 and 4, it's going to be at the gym. I am doing a program called Strongless 5x5 and I've basically been able to, like I can fit a whole workout into basically like an hour and 10 minutes and I walk home and hopefully uh, make it to work on time after I shower, eat, drink my protein and like, you know check Twitter for five minutes. Um, yeah, as far as games go and like other stuff like that, I'm not really looking forward to anything. The only game that's been announced or like not announced, hinted at, that I'm kind of interested in is the new Pokemon game that's hopefully coming out for the Switch, but like it's it's probably not going to be that great. Um, other than that, what have I been playing? Uh, I recently re-downloaded Final Fantasy XV for the PC. And although I really like it, I already sunk like 160 hours into it on Xbox. I 100% of the game, like I own everything, I beat everyone. There's a super, super difficult dungeon towards the end where you can't heal, you can't use abilities, and you can't, you can attack, I just don't think you can do anything else. And basically I made it through that on the Xbox, I'm just not super interested in doing it again because it was very hard and kind of brutal, like Dark Souls-ish brutal. Um, but yeah. Other than that, as far as videos go, I just don't know what else to talk about. Um, like, if I was going to make a video, I usually like to have a topic. So, like, me being like, hey, let's refresh, like, what's been going on in my life, that's a topic. But other than that, I'm not, like, super opinionated on most things, and I don't think anyone really gives a shit. This is more for people just kind of wondering what I've been up to and, like, giving you guys a heads up. Um, what else? I can't really think of anything. Um, as far as gameplay goes, I might, like try to load up a game of Counter-Strike or something like that and try to talk over that at some point, but recently I've just kind of been chilling. I spend most of my time at the gym, so this isn't that appealing to me anymore. That being said, it's super cool that some of you guys still watch my videos, even if it's just for nostalgia purposes. It's really neat. This was kind of a weird experience. I never thought that I'd actually have people who like gave a shit what I thought or like would really like my videos. So that's super cool, and I do appreciate that. Um, but yeah. Anywho... If you're, like, one of my friends or something like that and you want to reach out to me, hit me up. I'm pretty much an open book. That's what I was going to talk about. Uh, a lot of people are playing Fortnite right now, and I just can't stand it. So if you're one of my friends and you want to play anything except Fortnite with me, I'd be all, I'd be down for that. I'd literally, I have a decent amount of money. I'll literally buy whatever game you want to play. We can just fuck around on it, but not Fortnite because I don't enjoy that game. Um, but anyways, I'm running out of things to talk about if you guys, I don't know, want me to talk about stuff like nostalgia-wise. I know someone DM'd me and asked me if I would talk about like Skies or something like that, I could do that. Or even like competitive sniping as a whole, I could probably do that, but it just kind of depends what you guys give a shit about. Also, I'm pretty sure like eight of you will see this because... I wouldn't be still, yeah. I wouldn't still be subscribed to my channel, so it's kind of unrealistic for me to expect you guys to be. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go because I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. But anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And if you guys want to talk to me or whatever like that, let me know. I'll be hanging out in the comments, answering stuff. If you have any questions, so yeah. Later.